Students on the Hill living in campus dorms can only live with people of the same sex, but this could change soon. Citrus TV's Zach Owens joins us now with the details. Zach? That's right, Spencer. In the next academic year, a pilot program will open that will allow students to choose their roommates regardless of the, their sex. When the room selection process goes on at Syracuse University, male students are paired only with other male students and female with female. But now a pilot program is nearing approval that would change all that. From the fall of 2010 to spring 2011, male and female students will be allowed to live together in South Campus apartments or in certain suites throughout SU's dorms. Actually, we'll be measuring at the beginning as we go through, and at the end we'll measure it, um, see what comes out of it, you know, see what the feedback is, and then look to uh, implement a full policy later on. The proposition for co-ed dorm living has been instituted in one way or another in 45 campuses across the country. The LGBT group here on campus helped draft the proposition and is a staunch supporter of it. There is, however, heavy debate over this topic. Questions remain about who and what students should be allowed to live together, if at all, as well as the impact of co-ed rooms on dorm inhabitants. There's a lot of things that come along with that. You have moral implications from a lot of people. Um, you also can have exacerbated roommate conflicts when they break up. Um, that All that, when you're living in a, in a residence hall, um, how you live together and, and people you live around, that's all very affected in your community building. Okay. Um, the pros to this program is something like, well, you know, you allow students the right to choose who they want to live with. Uh, I think that's the overall most important thing to keep in mind here is that we respect the individual's right to choose. With this in mind, the pilot program will be open to anyone who selects the option on their housing selection form. Throughout the trial period, the Student Association at Syracuse and the University will take feedback on how well the living arrangements work and include this information in future planning. Um, the all South Campus, all two-person South Campus apartments will be uh, used for this policy, and then every two-person suite on main campus, um, those include suites in Haven and Booth, and I believe there's a couple in Watson, um, but the, all those will be opened up. That uh, includes 74 options on main campus, and then multiple, multiple on uh, South. Now, Zach. Uh, what did students think about this? you think this program is going to catch on? You know, I think it will. Uh, there are a lot of students out there that really want this to, uh, to blossom and become a thing that no longer will it matter whether or not you're male or female, where you room, no matter where. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Zach. Yep.